Wednesday morning, everyone. A live look outside here in the metro area. We've been dealing with some mist, some fog, even a few showers around 61, though it's a mild start to the day with an east northeast wind at seven miles per hour. You got to go just to the west, and that's where we're dealing with some heavier rainfall around Edel and Perry. Thunderstorm there, Madrid up to Boone. Steadier rainfall up to the north, uh, up towards Story City. Nothing severe out of this right now, just mainly some downpours expected. Winter set getting some heavier rain right now. Now we get a bit of a break between Harlan Atlantic and Red Oak and then some heavier rainfall around Omaha that's pulling toward the east northeast. So even though you're getting a break right now in Harlan and Atlantic, even a dare, I think it's going to be short lived as this band of moisture pulls in from the west. So the overall trend for today, it's going to be unsettled uh, all day. This morning we're going to have periods of showers and storms, and I think we get a bit of a break during the afternoon or at least the late morning, early afternoon before we start to see storms refiring. So if you look down to the south, you could see that we have a bit of a break here. This is all associated with a frontal boundary that's basically just stalled out in the uh, northern part of, the, of Missouri. It's going to lift to the north as a warm front. So as it does, southern Iowa and metro area still going to be fairly warm for today. Lower 70s for the high, but like I mentioned, we'll see showers and storms this morning. A bit of a break between, I think, about 9 and noon, and then we'll store, uh, see storms trying to refire. And it's going to be this afternoon that we're going to have to watch closely that we could have a few stronger or maybe even a few isolated severe storms. Main threat today will be some hail and some gusty winds with some of the storms. So here's 10 o'clock in the morning. Like I mentioned, models are still trying to give us a little bit of a break in the action before things start refiring as a frontal boundary starts to pull through. This is going to be a cold front, so here's about 5 o'clock. Still expecting showers and storms to be moving through. This is where we could be looking at potentially uh, some severe storms out of this. Now, tonight, it's still looking unsettled. Now, this model in particular keeps most of the precipitation into northern Missouri. I still think it's going to be a little bit farther north, so I'm still keeping the risk for showers and scattered uh, storms, mainly south of Interstate 80 through tomorrow morning. The front will sag to the south. Tomorrow's going to be unsettled, a little bit cooler. Still could be looking at a few showers off and on in the morning and the early afternoon hours, but once we get to tomorrow evening, things start to dry out. We clear out and that's going to bring us in for a very nice weekend with more sunshine. So the rain tracker again, this isn't anything that I want you to, to look at the specific city and say this is what you're going to get. This is just giving you a trend of where we're expected the heavier rain to be. I still think down towards Ottumwa and Lamoni, even though this model in particular is giving you about a quarter of an inch. I still think Southern Iowa could see more, especially with the stronger storms and the heavier downpours. Some of us could end up anywhere from uh, two to three inches with some of the heavier rainfall. So once we get past tomorrow, things look much brighter over the weekend and warmer lower 80s before our next shot of rain returns on Monday and on Tuesday. Ray?